150 million pounds on the pitch, but they were they played some fantastic stuff. But Harry, I've never seen us give the ball away so much and so cheaply as it did last night. Yeah, well, when I saw the formation and the team selection, I was a bit like, whoa, you know, no vocal point up front, Neto and Adama. And I had flashbacks to the second half when we beat them 2 0 when Adama got the double and it was Adama and Raul up top in like a 5 3 2. And we hit them on the break well. And I think that was the plan. But we had another first half of expected goals of 0.00. We, I don't think we had a shot first half. Oh, right. and, how, and how we didn't go in more than one nil down is beyond me. I mean, that VAR decision was a joke. If that had gone against Wolves, I'd have been fuming. It was literally an hmm. armpit hair again. And we were very, very lucky to still be in the game second half. And it's literally like, it reminded me of like when a conference team goes to a Premier League team in the FA Cup away and just tries to hold on. That's what it felt like to me, that first half. But we're crap at holding on, aren't we? <laughs> that's, well, that's it. Sometimes we can do it, but... Good at coming back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thoughts, Jack? Um, I just... Yeah, I don't, can't believe we were only 1-0 down at half-time. That was a blessing in disguise. And then suddenly, when Cody somehow pops up and scores a goal <laughs> from a set piece... I mean, everything I'm saying here is ridiculous, but... And then we go one one. You're thinking, hang on, we can't just we can't get a point from this game, can we? And do you know what? For about 15, 20 minutes after that, I thought we might actually do well, it. Yeah, we're flying yeah. up. But I, I agree, some of the performance, it was just so, so frustrating. Some of the mistakes and some of the defending were just terrible. It seemed like there was no outlet. We'd immediately panic every time we got the ball and give the ball away and just make stupid, stupid mistakes. Uh the team selection was a bit weird. I think Jana Hoover was a bit out of his depth, if I'm brutally honest, mm. uh, which is, is, again, young kid. You've thrown him, in, him against Man City. Um, and the performance at halftime, we were thinking, what the hell is this? Because it's not like the Wolves of last year, where at least we'd have a go. And we might lose, fair enough, we might lose, but at least we'd look like scoring. It was, we're not going to have any shots. We're not going to try and have any shots. We're not going to try and score. We're just going to try and keep the score down and wait till we play Villa on Saturday. That's what it seemed like to me. <laughs> exactly. What it like. I just don't know what's happened with that. But then suddenly you're getting glimpses of, hang on, was this a game plan all along? Because it's 1-1 one, one here and we've only got 15 <laughs> minutes left. And maybe we can actually snatch a point. And I thought oh. we might do. But then there was just some shocking defending, that, um, which you can just point to, God, our lines were terrible, our passing was terrible. And then as soon as we let a goal in, we just mentally apart, broke yeah. down again. And you think about, oh, the, you brought on bloody Ottisawi and he just gave the ball away <laughs> in the box. But, but I think the one thing you've got to say is, they're bloody good at Nice City. Yeah, every time, brilliant. even yeah. when we even when we win the ball back and turn it over, suddenly you Pressing. think we can break now. And so good. but but they'd be back in position. You like thinking it's like they're attacking as eleven, and then as soon as they're defending, they're all back behind the ball yeah. before we can even yeah. break with it. It's like their pressing is just unreal, and like the people like Sterling's Sterling's work rate defensively, he's just there. He's there all the time. So you can't fault them because they're different class. But there was a lot of question marks about everything about that game from start to finish, and we should have been three or four down at half time. Bailey, so if you want to go and get a result against City, especially at the Etihad, you need to be on your game and you need luck to go your way as well. And, and, and luck did go Wolves' way, like Harry said in that first half, where that the, pen, the, uh, the goal wasn't given because of VAR. But it's just a huge missed opportunity, wasn't it? Yeah, without Patricio, that was a 6-7-1 game. Comfortably as well. Comfortably. First half, I just don't get it. I just do not get this let's be shit for half of the game. I just don't understand why we do it. Why do we just completely shut up shop for half of a football match? Mm. I mean, we're not very good at having shots and chances at the best of time. We're not very good at our conversion rate and then we halve the amount of time we've got a chance to fucking score one. <laughs> so true. So true. And that's, that's Harry, twice, in a, twice in a week again though, isn't it, that we let in the first goal? Yeah, it's yeah. getting beyond a joke. Yeah, it doesn't it's, matter yeah. whether it's, it's Man City or Newcastle. I think we've gone beyond this we wait for it, um, but we did, but I must say, when we got the equaliser, we, had, we, we did have a few 10 minutes maybe where we looked all right. Can we I say something, right? We looked comfortable defensively. And then all of a sudden, it's three mistakes in a row, three goals. Well done to City for taking advantage of them. But fuck me, Otisawi. Jesus. He was on the pitch 30 <laughs> seconds. He gave the ball away twice and had to fetch one out of the net. Yeah. I've never, ever seen anyone have such a bad... He just start. absolutely crapped his pants, didn't he? When he yeah. got past the ball in the penalty area. Like, Granted, it's because they're really good, but that, there was just no composure there. Talking is that of, worse than the Jonathan Woodgate to uh, Real Madrid? Uh, Madrid no. I don't think it was that bad. He got sent off to the Woodgate. 
Madrid. Madrid no, I don't think it was that bad. He got sent off to Woodgate and if, uh, own goal <laughs> as no well. Goal. Yeah, yeah. Own goal. No, uh, well, f- talking of substitutions, Fabio Silva come on. Although he didn't do much, but just having him on changed it because yeah. we literally yeah, got we got the free kick from Matinho and then he put the ball and scored. And then like Bailey said to us, we had a few good chances. We showed we could actually go at them. So why didn't we just try that first half? You know what I mean? Start Fabio or because obviously William Jose weren't too good at Newcastle. Maybe start Fabio from the off and just do what we did in that little spell second half and have a go. But then it could have been 10-1, couldn't it? Yeah, you know? but if you let City come at you for nine minutes, they will score a couple. It's oh, yeah. inevitable. But I, I'm, I, I get that. We definitely look best second half and we let in we let in three goals in the second half and we look ahead of <laughs> Yeah. This okay. this is like what what are the fans say about Wolves when they they're like look at us and from an outsider's point of view and I know this is why some Wolves fans get angry as well they say look at the players you've got why do you play so defensively mm. because you've got talent there to go and hurt teams but you just try and win one nil and then park the bus or you know Here's play five at the back and, but I don't know here's a question for you would we be playing the same style of football if Jimenez was fit. Well, we'd say it tactically it's been the same because we did it when we went to the Etihad last time. We'll sit it back. Started, so though, yes. Oh, it hundred percent started. Yeah, that, obviously that's what I thought Bayless meant. He would have. He wouldn't have on the counter attack. We wouldn't have gone at him. It'd have been counter attacking football. But at least the, when we beat him at the Etihad first half, you remember Catrone went through one on one. We had a few chances against him. Admittedly, they were shit then because they had like Otamendi centre back, and now then they've got it, Ruben Diaz in that. And then is it not the ability of our players, but actually the. <laughs> Oh God, I don't want to say this, intellect of our players. Neto was clean through. All Traore had to do was look up and find the right pass to yep. the left. Yeah, yeah. Now, mm. if we look at two years ago or a year ago, whenever the hell it was, because time's disappeared December COVID, Jimenez looked up, beat his man, slid in Traore. Mm-hmm. Intelligent, intelligent yeah. football. Yeah. Is that the problem Great with Wolves point. at the moment, that we are just a bit fucking thick? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> so articulate in the build-up to that main question. <laughs> I had to do it. I couldn't sound. I couldn't sound that fluent all the way through. You got. To, I think you do have to look at the manager as well because we're playing. We've got a centre back on the bench, and you're playing Dendonka there, who I'm not comfortable with. I, I previously was, but I think he's been a bit dodgy at centre back. We're playing Jana Hoover, and then we're playing Samedo on bloody god knows right, right midfield. I don't know what was going on with that. I, yeah. I don't know and. There's, that, there's a few just weird things there. If you have to go back to basics, at least play people in their correct position and don't throw people in at the deep end like you did with Hoover and Otazawi um, because that's when mistakes happen. And I, I'll be honest, I was, let's, let's, it wasn't all bad. I was, the second half performance was much better than the first half performance. I'd rather us lose 3 one and a half than lose 1-0 and not even a try and have a go. Mm. I agree completely. Uh, Harry, I think <clears throat> Rodri... Maybe the first player I've seen that's dealt with Adama Traore brilliantly. And mm. every time Traore gets a ball, I think you're not going to get the ball off him. He'll lose the ball, but you won't get it off him. But uh, Rodri just had him on toast for me. Yeah. He didn't um, let him but what, any- I will, what I will say, though, is although I agree with what you just said, I think Adama was better than Neto on the day. Like he actually had, he tried. I know he kept like, I know he kept running into dark alleys and just getting the ball took off him, like you mentioned, and he could have shot on a few opportunities first half as well. But yeah, it was just, t- it must be, imagine being Neto and Adama playing in that sort of form, like, you know, that sort of tactics and just feeding off scraps basically. And they're mm-hmm. not the type to hold the ball up, are they? We, mi- we missed that first half. They want to spin in behind. But like Jack mentioned, when we did finally have a chance of going on the counter or something, we were too slow to do it. And then everyone was back. So we literally, it was like eight players to try and get past when they did have it. And unless they did like a Ryan Giggs run, like in the bloody FA Cup, they're just never really going to get towards a goal. So yeah, mad. Well, let's see what the uh, Premier League table is looking like. I mean, you know, it wasn't that long ago we were talking about relegation and stuff like that, but it's looking a lot better than it was. Is a point from those two games enough, though? Mm, well, do you think taking, we'd take more from that? I'd have took four points out of these three games. I know ideally everyone wanted six after they want to beat Newcastle and Villa, but I think we've got to beat Villa now. Um, well, Man City was a write-off. It was. I've got what everyone said. So we said this well before the Newcastle game. I asked everyone to pick how many points Wolves are going to get out of Newcastle, City, Villa and Liverpool. Harry was the lowest with four. Sam and Jack both went six. I went five. <laughs> so it's, it's probably going to be two, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably the reality of the story. Yeah. It might be one. Um, <laughs> could well, yeah, be. it could, could well be one. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I think the question about is that enough? Well, it depends what the expectation is, doesn't it? I, th- I think... 
our season is going to be defined by that run, a nice run of six or so games we have after the Liverpool game, where they're all winnable, really, on paper. And that'll decide whether we finish 14th or whether we finish potentially 8th, I think. And mm. that's it now for us this season. We're not going down, we're not going up. It's been a nothing season, but hopefully... We beat the Albion. <laughs> hopefully we send the Albion down, yeah. You just know that we're not going to beat them, aren't you? Just no. They'll be relegated already, so that'll take the fun out of that. And they'll be relegated, go bankrupt. We won't play them for 15 years, and this is all they'll have. <laughs> Fabio Silva on his testimonial match will lose. 